Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we're just gonna do an update quickly on the body shop. Mm, there's actually quite a bit happening, so you can see the shop looks full, but we've actually structured it out a bit more. We've moved the uh, fabrication side from our current shop into the panel shop. That's why the shop is actually choked. So let's go through the cars quickly. We're just gonna walk into the prep booth. Uh, it is messy, it is the other car. We like to keep this place closed up because this is basically the sanding bay. Uh, there's a lot of dust that comes from this area. So section of closed off. Okay, this here is the 325iX. So we've taken the car out to metal. Um, body was actually a very good body on this car, right? And we're not used to getting it. So it was the first layer of paint. I think the guy has been, no, 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 I lied. First or second layer of paint. Um, but there was actually nothing from here all the way to the back. There was nothing majorly wrong with the vehicle. I have spoken about rust on the floorboard, but there isn't nothing, there isn't anything that I can see. So we're basically just going through the car now. Uh, we have picked up dents on either side of the fenders on both sides. So um, we've put in file that we've given it its first sealer coat and we basically on a uh, check coat at this point in time. So check coat is basically just to give us an indication if there's any waves or something like that, and you can see the two different colors here. So this car is going to be ready next week for paint. Uh, the Calypso car, we're almost done with the Calypso car. This guy's also got its first coat of sealer. Uh, we found a couple of nicks and dents. Then this is very fine dents. So we have come over with a little bit of filler, but this is a, it's basically a smear coat of filler just for the, I'm going to call it the micro dents, if I can call it that, right? Uh, remember these, Fenders, even if you get the fenders in is new, you can only put and file to a certain point and you also don't want to put and file too much because you end up pulling a lot of the metal out of it, out of a thin base already. So if they're 1.2 millimeter, uh, millimeter thick, you can actually picture with punning and filing how much we actually, how much of metal we actually go through. So we've prepped the engine back up. Uh, you can see this guy stripped out as far as possible. Remember on this vehicle, we've done chassis legs, both chassis leg replacements, we've done floorboard replacements and so on like that. Uh, we've given the car uh, its coat of primer, we're on final checks and then we're going to do one more primer on it and then we're going to start flattening down to uh, prepare for paint. So the Calypso car, the IX, those cars um, we're pushing for next week to get painted. That's the LRA car, the LRA car because we found about 5 or 6 centimeters, no, 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 like about 2 or 3 centimeters of body fill on them. We've put in front of the car, we've got it out. We've got basically all the dents out. We've gotten rid of all the uh, body fill on the sides. But we are still battling just to put in file and get as many of the dents out as far as possible. So I have run a little bit of body filler on it because it's almost impossible to get the section as smooth as possible. So this is still in prep. So we've got a light phase, a light film of body filler, right? And just to give you an in. The, in indication of what I'm talking about. So a lot of people will see body filler here and they'll say, hey, the guys are plastering it on and you know that I hate body filler. So here's a couple of dents here, right? So if you look at the panel, the panel looks straight, but there's a couple of dents in here and these are light dents in here. So when we talk about body filler, it's literally just to close up these dents here because the, firstly to try and pin and file these guys out is an issue because of the the, the, the bracing. So yes, you can come with a dent puller, you can, you can pull it out, but to Panel BT properly to hammer and dollar it properly becomes an issue. So in areas like this here, we'll accept a little bit of body filler. You'll see areas here, areas here, areas over here. So if you look by eye, you can't really see it until you come up with the checkout and then you can actually pick up where those issue areas are. Like here, we've got a couple of issues around the car. That's the same. You'll find issues here, a small dent here. So you guys know on the pillars, you cannot get to the inside of the pillar, right? So yes, you can pull the dent out, but getting the dents back in, you've got to massage it in and you've got to get it as close as possible and then we'll come with a light layer of filler just over that. Okay, so let's move on to the 
next car, which will be the White Evo 2. Okay. So this guy is, remember this here wasn't a restoration car or anything of the sort. This here was mainly a respray car. So the car was, the car was actually standing for a while. Really not a bad car. Also another, it was in a fender bender before. We found one rust spot on the car, but basically a decent car all the way through. So we've taken it out of metal, we've prepped up, and you'll see there's some areas that I haven't taken out of metal, and I'm not going to spend the time on this specific vehicle because there's no layers built up of paint. You can see the layers of paint is still very thin on the edges here. So we'll be able to flatten down this guy properly, get the clips out. Uh, we still have to take the windows out here, and then we start getting it ready for paint. So we've in its first coat of... Uh, sealer there's still a couple of issues that i gotta sort out there's a rust spot there was a rust plate that we put in here so we've got to come in with sealant over there and this is the th one of the th it's the third of the fourth car for next week's paint so next week will be a big week okay so this is the three of number three of four cars that we'd like to paint for next week so yes i'm squeezing it but we're trying to there's a lot of cars coming in so we we are I'm not going to say we're under pressure, we're not under pressure, but we also need to meet our schedules with regards to paint. So, we've got, next week is going to be a big week, right, because we've got some decent colors, and they, it's a variant of colors that's actually going to get painted, and I'm excited to see the outcomes. We've got Hannah Red, we've got Calypso Red, we've got Alpine White, and we've got the 325 IX, of which I can never remember this color here, but I'll post it up. So, those four cars are getting painted, and then we're busy with the triple trees as well so triple trees i've got this boy here and this is our first and red triple tree that's going to get painted uh put in file down we've had issues on the bonnet all the guys have got issues with bonnets bonnets are a huge problem so put in file the bonnet out as far as possible the fenders are put in file uh, we put the car back together on metal we've aligned the car we've still got to do final alignment on this side here so windows line up the doors are lined up the locks are in uh and we're doing final alignment of metal and then the guy's gonna get ready for its first coat of sealer paint so sealer primer actually so sealer primer and then she's gonna come in to check out again and then get its final coat of uh primer and then we're gonna prep up again and get ready for paint so this year will be actually fun but this is not gonna be the next week this will be the following week this baby here is the white is that we got in a while back so after paint stopping this car, we found tons of issues on it. And I'll put the link in the description as well to the first video of the vehicle. And it's the IS that came in from KZN. And we went through tons of welding on the vehicle. So this, if you guys remember correctly, this floor was rotten to the core. Uh, we've done complete floor replacements on this vehicle. So if you ever look at now, look, there is dust in the car. So guys, please don't mind me with regard to the dust. This is the drainage pipe that's hanging here. So complete floor replacements on the vehicle. We've done the whole section cut out front to back and you'll actually see the, the wells in place. So we've we've gone and we've welded back in to the original spots and we've rebraced it in certain areas. Fenders were a huge issue. There was a, there was a lot happening here. Uh, we're still busy on this area, but we got we actually got the shape back of the metal. And you can see we've got one dent here, we've got a dent here and a dent over here. So we actually had to make this panel up here and we're basically trying to put in file and get this guy as straight as possible. So it looks like this car wasn't an accident before, and it looks like the roof was replaced. Uh, the back side of the car was smashed up. There's a lot of work that's been done on this car, and it's a lot of metal work. And we, the point is we're still not entirely done, but we've made huge progress. So the, the mere fact that this guy is in put in filing at this point in time, that's a big step. The backboard has been fully replaced on this vehicle. This here was cut out to pieces. That's been replaced and put in. We've had to build up areas here on the lips here, on the corners here. So if you have a look here now, we've got areas like this area here, over here. This here was rotten out, so there, were, there, were, there was rust all over in the corners here. This has been built up on this side here. This guy has been built up on this side here. Uh, this area here, a piece of this lip here into the rear valence was rotten. We pulled up onto this guy here. Uh, the rear battery trays were built up. 
let's say moving forward. Oh yeah, let me move to the front of the car. Right? This front of the car was the worst. So you can actually see on the floorboards here, we're still busy cleaning up and going through the final valves of the car. There was a lot of issues on the firewall, but the issues that we face on the firewall is not simple issues that we can just see through. So there was a huge issue on the firewall on this idea. So I don't, I haven't seen any cut and join marks. What I have seen is that the car has been in an accident, right? So it's been repaired before, but repaired very badly. So this section of the car, for example, this here was all mangled up. Underneath here was a problem. So we've had to remove this whole panel, build up this guy here, get the seams correct here. You'll see we're still busy with the, the brace plate here. There was, I think it was rust, if I can remember correctly, it was rust here in the corner. So we had to build this plate up here, trying to get into this area here and weld this area here properly and get the welding neat and clean and get the seams nice is an issue. The, this area here was, it, it didn't have its normal step in underneath the fuse box area. It had a straight plate coming up into here, so we had to get this guy out here, rebuild this plate up, build up into the corner here. And you can see now we've got the bonnet hinges on, we've got the bonnet on. And we are starting to build up uh, the car and starting, we're starting to align the car as well. So from here, the after putting and filing, the car is still going to go just for final measurements, make sure that she's straight. Then we got the brown photo that came in, this is the chrome bumper, plastic bumper, the chrome bumper made plastic bumper car. So we've started on the car, we've extracted motor, gearbox, uh, front suspension with the prop shaft and so on like that. And we've got the car ready, basically in the air, ready for its chassis leg removals. So this is in the queue basically for fabrication. Uh, we've got this triple three here. This is the aerosol triple three. Waiting for its backboard. I'm waiting for stock. I'm battling to find a decent uh, backboard. Okay, so this here is the last of the triple threes. And this is the car that is actually really bad. So this car is the car that was cut and joined in front. We're waiting for basically the front section to come in. We've got floorboards for the car. I'm going to get backboards as well. So you can see that's out and waiting for it. Uh, we're not battling with flash rusting as yet. But I think as we're going to get our first rings, we're going to have to move away from metal. So we're first going to find and fail. And then we're going to get our sealer on this car. Then we've got the Hena Red triple three here. This here will be the next trip after that. So it's the second of the Hena Reds that's going to get ready. So here we're basically getting the exception in, but I'll do, I'll do another, we'll do another video completely on these two cars here. But these are the two worst bodies. Then we've got our shadow light. So our Dolphin uh, Metallic Ray shadow light. And guys, just excuse the shop. The, the shop is, um, it's not the Alba car, it's a workshop. But you'll see that you clean up in the morning here and by lunchtime come in. Lunch, the, it is lunchtime now and it looks like this here. So if you guys remember this vehicle, I'll put a link in the description as well for our first video on this car on Strip Up. When we strip this car out, we found that the floorboards were rotten basically from all the way here right through. So we've started fabrication on the vehicle and we actually making very good headway on it. But I didn't really want to do a video on this car at this point. But I think that you guys deserve to see how, how much work goes into it, right? And it's not just a plate that you're gonna come and put in and you're gonna weld the floor off, floor up. We've had to make the floorboard up in sections. So this is one section of the floorboard. This corner piece here, this is another section. So if you can actually see how intricate the angles are on the floorboard, on this side here. So you've got angles over here, you've got angles over here, you've got angles over here. This is not a pressed floorboard, this is handmade. So we've done the center piece first, which is the big guy. And you'll see we've actually had to end it over here. Uh, we've made up this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces just to make up one complete floorboard. Yes, we are not like the guys overseas that have uh, tons of sheet metal experience, tons of tools available in South Africa for uh, sheet metal fabrication, but we're doing the best of what we can with what we have and what we know. So we're busy now with the footwell panel. 
and we're building that up and then we're going to build up two angles on that side there the same thing on the passenger side the engine bay of the car had to be the worst side of it right and the reason why i say it's the worst side of it is because the angles that we're trying to get into um we've had to make up this whole section of the car this whole section of it so basically getting these angles correct here getting the cutouts correct here getting this area here cor uh, correct this corner piece here correct because the rust flowed into here into the next panel here so we've had to make sections up because we don't have cutout sections available for the vehicle and the other the other thing is if we're going to find a donor vehicle by the time we pull the seams off here we might find rust in there number one that's after starting the seam seal off so it's too late you've purchased the vehicle already already you've uh, spent money on it and now you find you know there's a panel that i can't use and you've got to uh, go through that process all over again so instead of doing that we rather make up a panel but we've got to make it up in the stages here for example this is one of the, this is the front panel here so your the second here all the way into the corner and we've had to stop this panel off and we're trying to remake this panel here to fit in here then we're going to finish up the firewall finish up the bottom area and then we're going to move over to the we're going to move over to the chassis legs so like i showed you guys before the chassis legs on this car was totally rotten and yes both yes both the chassis legs now on this car so this here is left hand side this one wasn't too bad as you can see inside we're starting with rust already no i like rotten to the core so this the the, the chassis leg is actually made up of three plates so you've got an outer plate you've got this inner plate here and you've got another brace plate on the inside so the brace plate has started is actually still a bit intact the second layer plate has started rusting and rotting out not actually rusting but rotting out so if you have to see where this here started rusting out these are your control uh, not control your subframe bolts or the holes and your holders for your subframe and this is just basically on the outskirt of that this is the other side leg which is totally short so you can see the brace still held up but it's just a matter of time until this starts breaking off from the rest of the leg and you can actually see how weak this leg has become so that's the next phase of this vehicle but we will do a full a full build or a full uh, on this vehicle when fabrication is done and we're ready to start putting it and filing it <coughs> anyway guys uh this was just an update you guys know what to do i hope you guys enjoy this episode uh like subscribe share drop a comment let me know what you guys think and yeah just